Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's theme is Gucci because we are talking about some Gucci slides. So for those of you that decided to click on this video and watch it, I am assuming and hope that you guys share a love for designer items like I do. Now I am someone who doesn't have a lot of designer items, just a few pieces here and there, but I would love to grow my collection. And I try to make smart decisions on my designer pieces. So that is why when I decided to make a purchase on the Gucci in Bloom slides, I felt a little ridiculous. First of all, I have been secretly eyeing these for the past year, but I always was like, I am not spending that much on a pair of slides. It's ridiculous. And I just always was like, I am never doing that. I don't need designer shoes. And I always told myself I am never doing that. That is completely ridiculous, outrageous even. So I was on fashion file, just kind of seeing like what was up, what do they have on there? I have never made a purchase from fashion file. And I, when I saw that the Gucci slides, that you could get them pre-loved for around $200, I was like, okay. All right, maybe, maybe this is doable. Okay, that's not bad for designer shoes. Like that's pretty affordable for the range that designer shoes fall into. I did more research to see what a pair of brand new Gucci and Bloom slides would cost. And it was only like $100 more, maybe like $150 more. And I was like, okay, just for that much extra, I can get a pair of brand new shoes and not have the risk of used slides smelling. So that was a big deal for me. And basically when my mind was made up, like, no, I am not buying pre-loved slides. I am buying them brand new. So let's talk about the fit and sizing first. So I got a size seven. I am typically a true size seven. I never really have to go half unless it's because of the make of the shoe. Now, when we talk about Rothy's, which let me get a pair. So with Rothy's, these are machine washable shoes. If you haven't heard, they're pretty amazing. There we go. Um, I have to go up a half size. So I get a seven and a half because these shoes are meant to be pretty loose around your feet and that's the way they're designed and they stay on. Um, but I'm a seven and a half in these Rothy's, but typically in other shoes, I am a straight size seven. So when I read a good mix of reviews saying these are the most comfortable shoes on the planet and these are the most uncomfortable shoes on the planet. So I was really nervous on which way to go. I was like, if I'm going to make this purchase, I want to make sure I get something that I'm not going to have to return. First of all, I live in Montana and there are no designer stores anywhere in this state. And so it's not like I can just walk in and be like, hey, I actually need to make a little quick exchange or return. I have to actually take the time of repackaging everything up, contacting the store, like, you know, essentially it's a really simple process. But for me, when you are making a big purchase on an item like this, I want to make sure that it's here to stay because apparently these sell out quickly and I didn't want to risk that also. One thing I read when I was reading reviews on these slides is that they stretch out in about two weeks. And I was like, do they really stretch out? Like, I don't really understand. Like, how does that happen? I decided to stick with my true size seven. Now I do have wide feet. That was also another concern, but when I put them on, yes, they did feel a little tight, but they were also very, very comfortable at the same time, if that makes sense. So they were tight around the top of my foot right here, but when, where I was, but where your actual, but where your foot actually goes, it was very, very comfortable. And because I read a few reviews saying that they do take time to stretch out and mold to your feet, even though they do have little molds right here, I decided to take some time and really wear them. And so, you know, at this point I was basically already committed because you can't really return used shoes, I don't think, at Gucci. And I decided on that because they actually did fit my feet. They weren't in too much and they weren't out too much. They were perfect. So I knew if I went up a half size, I would risk having that extra behind my heel. One other thing I wanna talk about is bunions. So I don't know if I've talked about this on YouTube before, but I had bunion surgery on my right Foot. I got the surgery done because my foot was in so much pain. Like I had the feeling where I just wanted to pop my big toe constantly and it was just like throbbing. But, and I have, and I do have a bunion on my left foot, but it does not hurt at all. And I'm not gonna go and get surgery just because it looks nicer that way. Um, no, I'm, I'm not, I don't wanna go through that pain. Like, and hopefully I never ever have to. My right foot was really like seriously in pain. And I bring that up because you can see, and first of all, I hate looking at feet. I just think it's gross, but I feel like this is important for you to know if you are kind of deciding on buying slides like these. 
So on my right foot, you can see that my big toe points straight up. It is very easy to slip on and off. And if you look at my left foot, my big toe leans more towards the left. That's because of the bunion and that bunion is pushing my toe in that direction. So, so when we talk about these slides, yes, I agree with what people say. They are really, really comfortable. I am very impressed with these designer slides. But on my left foot, I can feel that it's a tiny bit tight, just a tiny, tiny bit tighter uh, where my bunion is. So while my right foot can slip easily on and off, my left foot, I kind of have to hold the back with my other foot in order to slip it off because it's just that tiny, it's just a tiny bit tight. Just because my feet look different in the slides doesn't mean that I'm gonna return these. This is just me, this is just how I am. I was born this way, okay? Except for my right foot, I got that fixed. But like I mentioned earlier, I'm not gonna go and get surgery done on my left foot just because it's not aesthetically pleasing. I'm not in any type of pain. I can live my life easily. I don't feel like I wanna pop my left big toe. So everything's fine. And they are still very comfortable to wear. And I do agree with the stretch. I feel like the bands across the slides were actually able to stretch out to my feet. So they're not, um, they're not restricting in any way where it hurts. Did it take about two weeks? I would say so. I would say that's about right because as soon as I got them, I knew I really wanted to break them in as fast as I could. So that's what I did. And they are really, really comfortable. So if you've been on the fence with these Gucci slides, specifically the Gucci and Bloom slides, I would say, hey, go for it because they really are comfortable. I have wide feet, I have bunions, and I still think they're comfortable. Give them time to stretch out because they will. They're worth it. You know, a lot of people don't seem to understand what is the obsession with designer pieces. Well, this is just my thing. You know, what is the obsession with sports? I don't really care for sports. I care for designer items. So people have their thing. They have their own thing. I'm, I love the designer community. I love designer pieces. And to me, they're always gonna be worth it. Also as a bonus, the packaging that it comes in is super, super cute. I put the ribbon back so that I could display the boxes. I love designing or displaying my um, designer boxes because if you're paying that much anyway, you better display the box or keep it in good condition. One other thing that I was super surprised about is that it came with a tote bag, like a giant tote bag. So when I placed my order on the Gucci website, it didn't say that it was gonna come with this at all, or if it did, I missed it, but I swear I didn't see anything. So here is the tote bag. It says Gucci right over there, and it says the same thing on the other side, but on this side, on the t at the top, it has Gucci.com on it. Isn't that cool? So when you wear it, if I can back up here, I don't have a lot of space. This is how it looks on me. So it's very much an oversized tote bag. So good, so nice, and also such a cute, fun surprise for spending as much as you do. Like, oh my God, like, great. So great for like a day at the beach, bringing in some towels, maybe carrying it to the farmer's market. So lots of uses for this bag. Right now I have my wedding rehearsal dress in here because I need to go and get it hemmed because I'm short, always a problem. Um, so I have it in here. Look, it was just a really fun surprise. Oh, also it did come with two dust bags. So one for each slide. The one thing I noticed that's different is that if you have a pair of, I think Victoria's Secret pink slides, which I bought specifically for my foot surgery because I needed something to easily slip on and off while my foot was still swollen and healing. Um, it's very much, it's it's just much more spacious than these slides. Like these are, these are tighter, but they're not tight to the point where like you can't move. Like I said, they do stretch in a bit. They do end up stretching to your foot. My Victoria's Secret slides also have like a cloth material underneath the band right here. This doesn't. So if it's like a super hot day, you can feel it sticking to your foot, but it's not like a big major problem. That's. That's just how it is. So overall, I still can't believe I got Gucci slides, but I'm so happy I did. I think they are so worth it, definitely. Um, and if you want them pre-loved, no harm in that. Just make sure you compare the price from pre-loved to brand new, because sometimes it's just cheaper to buy them brand new. In this case, it wasn't that much more for a designer item, so I thought to me it was worth it, so. 
Let me know if you have some Gucci slides or which ones are your favorite right now. I know they have new ones coming out, um, but for me, I'm obsessed. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment below which pair of designer shoes are your favorite or if you're looking at also getting some Gucci slides. And if you are looking at getting some other type of designer piece, let me know what it is. I'm also looking at getting a new one as well. Um, but if you had already just gotten one, comment below what it is. I would love to start a discussion about designer pieces in the comments. And I'm also looking for my own little designer lover community because I don't have very many um, people that I know that love designer items. So let me know. Let's get talking and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.